babies. It's pretty. So tonight, I wanted to share with you just a little bit about my nails. This is my box of nails. I got this box off of Amazon. I think it was a bead box or jewelry making box or something like that. And it came with these dividers. And they used to be all in each of these robes. But I kind of customized it a little bit because they're removable and I kind of have them organized by shade. So I have kind of all my neutrals and warm colors up at the as well as like my white nails and my French tips and I put the cooler ones in the bottom and my black ones and my gray ones and they're also organized by finger <laughs> I find it easier to pick out the color that I want for each nail than it is to pick out the size that I need. So that's why I don't have each color together because then every time I need to find my nails, I would be spending a lot of time sizing them. And so what I do instead is, when I buy a new set of nails, the first thing that I do is I size them, and then I put them in the slot that corresponds to the finger that it belongs to. So when I'm ready to film, I just grab the orange ones or whatever color I'm going for and I put them in these bottom slots here so that they're ready to grab while I'm gluing them on and so I have thumb index finger middle finger ring finger and pinky also have this big compartment here and I'll show you better what's inside of it but you can kind of tell I have glue and a little wooden stick that I'll explain later and this compartment just has some of the dividers that I've removed also has this little hangy bit here. I guess that's if you want to hang it vertically, but I wouldn't do that with my nails because they would just slide through the cracks <laughs> and get all mixed up. Yeah. 
So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up and show you some of my nails that I have. I've been collecting these for a couple of years since I started my channel. I'll just talk about maybe where I got them, if I remember. <laughs> um, where I normally get my nails, what brands I like. And then, I'm going to talk about how I go about actually applying and removing them, just for my videos. Because these glue-on nails usually are meant to last like a week to four weeks, but I only wear them for a couple hours at a time. Um, I've mentioned a few times that I don't wear nails in my daily life. I just find it hard to do pretty much anything with nails, but especially with glue-on ones, because they can just kind of pop off and stuff, but I just have a hard time, especially with drawing, like, or holding a pen or a pencil. I just find that, I know that a lot of people can draw fine with long nails, but <laughs> just the way that my fingers kind of stab into my hand is really distracting to me, so normally I have sometimes short, sometimes kind of medium length nails, but you'll see at the end because I'm gonna show you how I take my nails off. So I'll open it up. It has these two hinges on the side. And there are my nails. These are the dividers I was talking about. So I'll show you kind of I work. It's like two little pieces and I just slide in like this. Of course it's not gonna fit because I have my nails there. I think I threw away a bunch of them too. These are just in case I change the arrangement. So. So these really long, um, super long neon orange ones are from Amazon. There's something on this one that's bothering me. Let me get the other one. Um, I don't know what that is. Um, I don't wear these like this because they're very long. They're a lot longer than I thought they would be. I don't normally get nails from Amazon. You can see how much longer that is. But I have bought like I think four or five sets from Amazon at once. And what I actually did is let's see if I can find it. Well, here's one of the ones in the index finger pile. You can see it's the same nail, 
but it's much shorter. And that's because I cut it and filed it myself. Because <laughs> I really wasn't expecting it to be that long. But yeah, so those are my Amazon. Let's see. Oh, yes. Um, these are kind of similar to the ones I'm wearing right now, but they're more of a French tip, like a gradient type dealy. Pretty sure these are kiss nails. Actually, like. 75% of what's in here is kiss nails just because I like them. Oh, these are weird. These ones, I didn't buy these. <laughs> when I told you about the Amazon ones, I got like a handful of sets and they randomly sent me this set, which is like the last thing that I would wear personally. It's just really not my style. But I kept them just in case I wanted to do like a role play that was a little bit more like <laughs> this sort of style. But I haven't done that yet. I love these. I love this kind where it's the French tip, but it's like a different color. So this one's like a an electric yellow. And they have a similar one. It's this like um red or coral color. I remember I used to love going on Kylie Jenner's Instagram. Oops. Kylie Jenner's Instagram because she would post a lot of pictures of her nails. And I feel like I remember she used to have, oh my goodness, this kind of style a lot. I like the color tip. I don't know. These are really pretty. They're like, these are actually one of the first sets that I got. Sorry, one second. I think I wear this set in my 1,000 subscriber video. Maybe. And then this is a similar style. It's a little different, but I love that kind of translucent. The sparkles. And these are the Kiss Jelly Fantasy. They're almost kind of like, if you shine it in the light, it's like a different color. I don't know if you can see that, but I don't know. To me, it's like multicolored or something, like it has some hints of blue or purple. And this is the same set. Very pretty. Also one of the first sets that I got a couple of years ago. I'm pretty sure I wore this set actually in my chocolate tapping video forever ago. Not the not the Valentine's one, but a much older one. Um, these ones I might have to get rid of soon because you can kind of see that the, you can see the glue kind of bad. The outside and they're starting to look a little cloudy. At least to me they do. I'm shaking because this is an awkward <laughs> way to hold something. They're a little cloudy. I don't know. I don't really wear them as much anymore because of that. This is a matte white. This is also one of the sets that I cut and shaped myself. So I don't wear these as much because they are very weak and they break when I take them off. Some of them have cracks. So I'm just a little worried about that. <laughs> yeah. Those are some of my neutral quote unquote ones, like warm ones, and then I have cool ones. Ooh, this is a new set. Actually, let me look for one of the ones with a heart on it. I wore these in one of my most recent videos. These are my first and only nails that I got from Shein. Okay, 
someone leave a comment and tell me where that went. <laughs> Uh -oh. One time I was doing my nails and my cat Mila overturned uh, my entire thing. <laughs> Made a big old mess and I had to completely redo. Oh, is that it right there? Oh, I think this is it. I think it fell in this one. Anyways, <laughs> it's a little hard. I don't know, it's cute, I guess. And I got it from Shein, so of course I only paid like $2 for the whole set. I don't know, it's not really my skin tone, but what can you do? I like this like electric yellow color too. I don't wear these a whole lot just because they're kind of bright and maybe a little distracting but sometimes they feel appropriate and then I have this pretty sage green set and it has like some glittery accents um, like this one and I got this during Christmas I wore them for my little red sleigh video and I remember when I got these I think I got them I went to Target and bought the little red sleigh book and the nails and I remember being really um, surprised at the lack of Christmas themed nails that they had there that day so I got these green ones but they're not very Christmassy <laughs> Oh yeah, this is another example of the ones that were way too long and I had to like redo myself. So that's the shiny one, the original length, and then my cut length for a direct comparison. <laughs> Maybe good for a Halloween video. I tend to gravitate towards the more neutral colors like these or bare ones because I find that they're more calming um, for ASMR purposes and I tend not to want to wear things that are too loud I love this shade of grey this is probably my favorite or one of my favorite sets of nails. I wore these in my first Holo Taco unboxing and I love the way that these look. I just look gray. <laughs> it's exciting color. <laughs> and then these blue ones. Kind of boring but one of my first sets. I used to wear these all the time because they were just kind of a safe choice <laughs> when I first started and I didn't have a whole lot of options. I know I have lots of options, but I keep wearing the same three sets. <laughs> That's not true. I wear these glittery ones a lot too, I think. Because glittery is a relaxing too. At least I think. Maybe if it's not too flashy. But yeah, so now I'm gonna show you exactly how I remove my nails. First, I'm gonna explain how I put them on. Now, this is in no way a dig on this product. I do not use it as intended. <laughs> so it does not last long on purpose. I don't know how this product lasts normally because I've never used it the right way. This is KISS Power Flex Brush On Nail Glue. I like the brush on, but they also have a squeeze bottle. 
And this is actually almost empty. I need to get a new one. But so, like I said, before I'm ready to film, I go through and I pick. So for example, if I decide I'm doing the glittery nails, I'll go through and I'll find my glittery nail for each one and I'll do it for every pair. And then when I'm ready to glue them on, I use this and I use a very thin layer. A very thin layer. So I'm gonna wipe it off like that and maybe even just do it in the middle, something like that. I prefer the glue over the adhesives. I know some people might think that the adhesives are a more temporary option, but I disagree. <laughs> I think that using a very thin layer of glue is much easier to remove than these adhesives because these adhesives are quite strong. I also have a lot of difficulty getting them on. I find it hard to peel them. I don't know why I'm talking like this. <laughs> but, um, and I, I don't know, sometimes these kind of leave a residue or, I don't know, they're just not my favorite. I found a way that works for me and it's this glue. Um, but I keep these just in case one day maybe I run out of the glue. Because for some reason, these glues are usually very, very strong. So these are all the... I keep all these glues. Every time I buy a new set of nails, I keep the glues. Oh my goodness. This one right here, Salon Perfect. This is like Gorilla Super Glue. Like, this will keep your nails on for at least two weeks. So, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, so I keep the adhesives just in case I don't realize I'm out of glue one day or something like that. So, let me get my... But as I said, I've never used this glue the right way, so I don't know <laughs> how well it performs. And sometimes I also um, have rings in here as well, but I don't today. Which I probably should have set aside some rings because, as you can see, I forgot them today. I'm ringless. So I'll just tap on the top of the box for a little while longer before I remove my So as I said, pretty much all of my nails are from the KISS brand, mostly because that's the majority, I think, what you see when you go to Walmart and Target. And Ulta too. Ulta has a lot of KISS brand nails. But I like them. I recommend them. this brand and I had them for I think it was about two weeks but of course I got kind of sick of them <laughs> and they were very hard to take off so I don't think I'll be doing that again anymore.
So, lastly, I will be demonstrating how I remove my nails. Again, I promise that this is painless. As I said, I have a very thin layer of glue. So, I find I like to either use a wooden stick like this, and I think they come with the nails sometimes. Not always, but I think that's where I got this, from a nail set. Or I'll use a nail file, like the pointy side. And first, I just have to take my thumbs off, because I use my thumbs to take the rest of them off. For the thumbs, I have to use the stick or something to pry them off. And so I'll just stick it right on the side. And these are kind of some hard, thick nails, so that's actually easier. You can see I'm just lifting it up. I don't want to crack the nail or bend it or anything. This does not hurt. <laughs> the thumb off and I put it where it goes and you can see there's some glue left on my nail but I'll get that off later I'll talk about that and so let me get my other thumb a lot faster that time and then let me just breeze through and get the rest of them off just using my thumbs. Ah. Sorry. fingers are giving me some trouble today. Ta-da! All off. Very easy. There's just a lot of glue. <laughs> so that's how it's done. And now probably gonna do either tomorrow or maybe tonight is I'll go and file off this glue. Um, usually I'll take my nail file and just kind of scrape it off and then I'll take one of those big blocks and kind of buff it out and then I'll paint over it. But yeah. Pretty much it. I normally keep my natural nails painted because they're kind of weak. So I do have to protect them and also because I like painting my nails. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot easier and more painless than you think it is. <laughs> but of course, sometimes I like to just have my natural nails for videos. My nails are pretty... They're kind of long right now, as far as what my nails usually are. Because they break a lot, but... Yeah. Thank you so much for joining me. Did you enjoy this video? And I hope you have a wonderful night. I'll see you again very, very soon.